There's a growing trend among fishermen in crowded southeast Queensland to hitch up the trailer boat and head further afield in search of less frequented fishing destinations. Like the town of 1770, about six hours drive north of Brisbane, and with the promise of red emperor and coral trout, it's not hard to see why. We've travelled about 70 kilometres from 1770 due east to uh, a patch of reef out here that will remain nameless. And we're just a smidgen off the imaginary line which marks the Tropic of Capricorn. Now, every fisherman knows that once you reach the Tropic of Capricorn, you ditch your rod over the side and you pick up one of these, a hand line. Just like my mate Gordy here who just got busted off by the looks of things. But we're on the hunt for trout today. And I reckon we might pick up a few with a few blokes that know what they're doing. Gordy, Wayne and Vanessa are a group of workmates who've trailered one of Signature's brand new 675F fishing boats up the highway from Brisbane. Of the three, Gordy's the real handline fanatic. He started fishing this way when he was three years old. And it's not that he just doesn't like change. He's adamant that in shallow reef, the handline will beat a rod and reel hand over fist. What's the allure? Why do you, why do you like to do it? I think it's more direct, you know, you, you feel the bite on the end of your finger, you know what's happening straight away, you don't have to feel it through the rod. I like rod fishing, but this is good. What about your mates with the big pens and the big Shimano's and all the gear? What, what do they think about going fishing with you when you, you come out with a bit of plastic and yeah, well, some I've, mono wrapped around it? I've converted one this trip <laughs> and, um, yeah, no, look, most of them, once they start seeing fish come up over the side, they all want a hand line in their hand. Gear-wise, this is as simple as it gets, but as for technique, well, that's a very different story. This is bad, Dino. You get it. <laughs> that's a fish. Well, it's a red throat, that's why he's pulling hard. Good ready. Good ready, that's a great ready. Dino. <laughs> red throat, a lot of people, a lot of people since Scott Hilly release. <laughs> One of, so there are do's and don'ts with this handline fishing. One of them is don't drop your fish into the line that's sitting on the deck of the boat, otherwise you could end up with a tangle. But, you know, I mean, we'll forgive you, Sunshine, because you are a good-looking animal. Very happy with that. Nice fish, Dino. Although Wayne and Gordy live in Brizzy, they spend so much time up here, they're just about locals. In fact, they love this place so much, they've been known to head here straight after work on Friday Arvo, fish all weekend, then head home on Sunday night with an esky full of fillets and catch up on sleep at work on Monday morning. Well, I've met some keen fishermen in my time, but you're probably the keenest. <laughs> you're, uh, you're having a happy time up here, aren't you? We love it, Dino. Yeah. This, is, this is a bit of your playground up here, Wayne? We try and get up here as often as possible, yeah. Yeah, it's good fun, isn't it? At a touch under seven metres, Wayne reckons the 675F ticks the two major boxes for this style of fishing. One, it's small enough to trailer long distances without a fuss, and two, it's big enough to handle serious offshore conditions. The signature series of boats are renowned for their ride, and I guess being a blue water cruiser, an offshore boat, uh, the same principles would apply for this boat. Yeah, even a little bit better. This really does punch above its weight, this boat. Uh, for a, a 6.8 metre boat, it, uh, it is awesome. I know we've got ideal weather conditions today, but I mean, to, to get, your, as you say, 70 kilometres offshore in under an hour and a half, the big Suzuki on the back. Tell us about these outboards, because they're amazing, aren't they? Yeah, the 300's fantastic. Uh, one thing we have learnt with the boat is that the 300's great on fuel and uh, gets us out here, you know, in the time frame that we want to be out here. If you'd like more information about the signature range of fishing and cruising boats, jump on their website. You'll find all the specs and features you need, including a full rundown on this amazing 675F.